Everybody, it's Tyler here at the championship, checking in team number 2056, OP Robotics, winners of the Ontario District Championship, uh, and a team that, you know, we on Fawn have loved following for years, and this robot definitely does not disappoint as, uh, as well. So to help me speak more about this, I have Van Chica and Caleb, and of course, we'll follow that full cargo journey through. One of the things I love about OP Robotics is that they're a team that, when you look at their robot, in general, it's it's just a well-built, simple machine, but it's done so effectively and efficiently uh, that they continue to iterate. Uh, the other thing too, if you don't know, uh, teams like OP Robotics and many teams in Canada didn't even start working on their robot till week three as well. So we go through those challenges they had. We'll talk about all this robot coming up here on Behind the Bumpers. Your destination for first content, updates, and gaming. Welcome, Welcome to, to fun. fun. First updates now, supported by Stryker Careers. Stryker's commitment to medical device technology innovation has made it a top career destination for those in FIRST. FIRST alumni and mentors are given top priority in their internship and career applications. Come create the next medical innovation that saves lives at careers.stryker.com. First Updates Now is supported by the Milwaukee School of Engineering. MSOE offers week-long summer camps where high school students get to preview college by living on campus, exploring engineering programs, experimenting in labs, meeting with professors, and participating in fun group activities. Are you ready to experience STEM at MSOE? Visit msoe.edu slash summer to learn more and register. Uh, so Van Chico, let's talk about your intake starting off. Love to hear about uh, what's gone into it, any iterations uh, throughout the yep. season, uh, what went into it? So we actually started in week four. We got to our school wow. and the main thing we wanted um, is we realized there's a lot of ball movement. There's like when the balls come out of the hub, they're always like, you know, jumping around, they're everywhere. And so it takes a long time for them to settle. So we actually use mechanum wheels. And so basically they or they like spin the opposite ways. Like sure. these go the other way and these go the other way. So if there's a cargo right here, they will center automatically and go up the conveyor belt to go out. And so one iteration we did make was after our Waterloo event, our intake was absolutely destroyed. Yeah. It looked like a banana. Okay. to be more real and so we decided that we want to make it more robust so as you can see our intake is a lot more chunkier now yeah it is and we also got rid of two mechanum wheels on the other side as well which helped reduce weight too but that did not hinder our ability to uh, center the cargo and get balls everywhere too when you're looking at it from a cargo acquisition standpoint on the field uh, how, how are you as a drive team how do you communicate best to uh, acquire cargo as quickly as you do so I like to, um, well, Caleb's a driver and I'm the operator. Yep. So basically I like to point out where the cargo is on the field. And once I see that he's done one of the cycles, I'll kind of like um, make a clear path for him to go around the field. And I'll call out where the balls are that he can't see, sure. whether that be right in front of the driver's station or right deep down into the field where it's out of his um, vision. Let's keep moving on your robot. We're gonna hand it over to Kalo, talk about your uh, elevator into your shooter as well. And then we'll uh, bring back Vinshika, talk about the climber. Uh, but talking about elevator area, do you use any sensors or anything like that? And then we'll get into your shooter too. Yeah. So right at the start of our elevator, we have a lower beam break, um, which uh, when the ball goes through it, our LEDs flash white, which really help with picking up the ball behind the hub and in, in the opposite hangar zone. Uh, that was a feature we added after our first event, and we seemed to struggle with it a little bit. Sure. Then, as the ball goes up near the top of our in the top of our turret, we have a color sensor and an upper beam break. Our color sensor, uh, we compare the two values of the, of the ball, uh, the red and the violet, and depending on the ratio, we, if it's our color, we will flip. We will shoot it normally. And if it is the opposite color, we tweak our turret a little bit and intentionally miss the ball. What happens if you, uh, if you intake the correct one and then your second ball is incorrect? Yes, so we have a logic queuing uh, segment of code that when we first pick up the ball, it, the, our elevator runs for a little bit until it's in a good place to make sure we have lots of space in order to accurately read the balls when we get to the top. We also, when we're ready to shoot, we also delay the second ball to make sure we get an accurate read. The first one sort of sits right on the color sensor, so we are able to know the values and shoot it immediately. Talking about your uh, shooter here, obviously a, a turret on here, new max with a couple positions. Uh, so talking about like why was this the best fit for 2056 uh, when you're yeah. looking at this year's game challenge? Yeah, so when we started designing, one of our first things that we wanted to make sure we did was have a very good shooter. That was our main goal. 
And so what we wanted was similar to our 2020 robot that never got to compete with a rotating turret. And yeah. we took what we learned from that with our umbilical cord um, and we increased our rotation around. So we have 175 degrees rotation in both directions. We have a limelight uh, for vision tracking that we take the distance from that and determine our flywheel speed. We also have a two position hood that using our distance, we have an upper and a lower limit. So once we cross the upper limit, it goes up and once we go back across the lower one, it goes back down. What was, uh, what's the amount of rotation on your turret? 175 degrees in both directions. Okay. Um, let's uh, pass it back over to Manchika, uh, talk about the uh, climber, and we'll talk about the climber sequence as we deploy your climber uh, off as well too. So talk to me more about, once again, your concept, uh, how you handle packaging with this as well too, and then we'll show off the climber. Yeah, so as you can see, so we have two different types of hanging arms. Yeah. So we have our ratchet hooks, which are kind of like our primary um, hanging arms, and then we also have these telescopic hanger arms that go on as well. So when we first like execute the um, hanging, basically the ratchet hooks will go up and they will grab onto the um, mid um, rung. And then once we're on there, these hooks will extend up and then pivot backwards as shown. And so then we're and then it'll come down. And now we're on mid. And so after that, they're gonna pivot backwards again and then go forward to grab onto the next rung. And we basically keep doing this until we get to traverse. What's your timing on that approximately? So our fastest time has been around 10 to 15 seconds. Sure. But we typically go around end game just to make sure that we can get to traverse. Uh, so I, I got to ask as a follow up, as you look at championships here and as the game evolves with the meta and stuff, I mean, OP has been so good at teleop shooting for so long. Mm -hmm. Is there a break even point for your team where you might not go and climb? Yeah, so if we know that two of the teams on our alliance have a guaranteed traverse hanging and they are fairly good at doing it and fairly quick, we know that we're pretty strong shooters. Yeah. So we will stay out there and shoot. And even then, if we think that one of the robots is not is going to fall down or if we don't think we're going to get the RP, we also just added a low rung hang. So if we really want to, we can quickly hang on the low bar within like two to three seconds. Yeah. And what about in playoffs as well, though, too? Does that change the dynamics at all in regards to climbing? Uh, yeah, it basically just depends. So we talk based on our strategy as well. And if we, a lot of times, especially at our provincial champs, we did, we realized that maybe doing a one cycle before we go to hang can be really helpful. Sure. Like at Ontario champs, it was it was that one ball cycle that we did that determined that we win the match or not, because it was a one point difference in the end. Well, congratulations, uh, of course, once again, Ontario uh, district champions uh, here uh, at the championships now. One of the favorites looking at the divisions of 2056 OP Robotics. Thanks a lot for taking time to tell us about your robot. And we wish you best of luck here at championships. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. First Updates Now is supported by the Milwaukee School of Engineering. MSOE offers week-long summer camps where high school students get to preview college by living on campus, exploring engineering programs, experimenting in labs, meeting with professors, and participating in fun group activities. Are you ready to experience STEM at MSOE? Visit msoe.edu slash summer to learn more and register. Thanks to Stryker Careers for their support in this video. First alumni and mentors are making Stryker a top priority for their internships and careers. That's because Stryker knows that those in first are the leaders and innovators of tomorrow. If you want to help make the world a better place by creating life-saving medical devices and technology, get started at careers.stryker.com. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now. And check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.